Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to remove the battery on the Nexus 5. Now first of all, before you get started, make sure that your phone is powered off and also make sure to remove the SIM tray. If you have a SIM removal tool of some kind, one that came with your phone, and remove the SIM tray because you're going to need to to get the logic board out. So here we go to remove the back cover. I'm going to turn it this way and look for the headphone jack located right here on top and you're going to want a little pry tool like this or something similar and start right in the headphone jack and just wiggle it a little bit right there and it should start popping loose. Then what you're going to want to do is keep going down around the side keep popping it loose all the way down through both sides and um, it helps sometimes to hold in there with your fingernails your thumb work it all the way down to the bottom on both corners and then usually you need to take a pry tool and there's usually a couple clips that right in here that stay connected and I think they might have popped loose but just wanted to show you. You just have to wiggle in there just very carefully and then might have to one more down here. Now just pull up gently once you get it close to the bottom. There you go it should pop right off. Now you have to keep in mind um, there's usually some adhesive on the bottom here of the back cover and um, so it pulls off kinda hard so just do it really gently there. Now the first step that you're gonna wanna do is you need a little Phillips screwdriver and there's six screws in this back cover here covering the logic board so you're going to want to remove those six screws right there. Now that these six screws are removed, now gently pry up on this back cover right here on this side. There's a little notch right there. You can gently pry up on that. Now keep in mind there is adhesive under this in a few places. So it should just come right off, just like that. Next we have to remove the logic board. So very carefully with the same pry tool. I would recommend a plastic one but all I have is a metal one. Because this plastic one that I opened the thing up with earlier isn't shaped the best for this. So very carefully you could start with this connector. Pop it loose that's for the charging port. And then there's this little connector for the battery. Pop that loose. And here's the one for the front camera. And here's the one for the rear camera. Then you will need a tweezers or something like that. I would recommend a tweezers. And there are these little antenna wires here that we have to pull loose. One there. And there's one on this side underneath this cable to pull loose. So just pull them over to the side like that. Now this should be ready to come out. Now very carefully with that same pry tool. Pry under this little notch here. Keep in mind this does have adhesive in it as well underneath it. So very carefully pry under here. And watch this connector on the rear camera. Make sure that that doesn't get caught in anything. And the logic board should pop right out. Now that we have the battery exposed, we can get in here 
carefully with a pry tool underneath this corner and if it comes hard to start with you may need to do something smaller like this tweezers get underneath it and get it started and work it up be mindful that there is adhesive underneath this and then you may want to hold that and also get a pry tool underneath it and then you can just wiggle it around back and forth there you heard it let loose there it's good to go now you can pop it right out there's your battery so to put it back in all you need to do is start in this corner first pop it down push it down to get the flexible adhesive to seal good and you're good to go just watch this connector here make sure that it's not underneath or anything and that's all this to it so now that we're ready to put the logic board back in just be mindful of these this flex cable here on the camera make sure that comes through the hole there and then the main thing is watch so that the power button here gets uh, down in and then that the volume buttons on this side get down in and um, it shouldn't take much to push it down it should just sit right in place and then you can start by reconnecting the front camera and reconnecting the rear camera make sure the connections are down in place good and then let's see here we could reconnect the charging port make sure that it's seated down in there properly and push down good and hard not too hard but nicely and firmly then the battery connector and you'll feel it snap in place next we have to reconnect the antenna wires just make sure that they're pushed down firmly not too hard it helps to start them nice and square if you can start them square with what is there and then just make sure that they're back in their grooves here the wire channels on the side of the battery there and that is done so now we're going to put the cover back on on the logic board so you just pretty much set it in there make it click down in a few places especially right in this corner it does and then you're just going to want to put all six of these screws back in and like I said before it doesn't matter which screw goes where they're all the same size now we're going to put the back cover back on we so just take the back cover and tilt it up start the bottom in first like that then just start snapping it in as you go work your way up to the top make sure everything's snapping in as it goes there's a few to press in right in here and just check all the way around make sure everything's snapped in all the way around then lastly put your sim card back in right in there I don't have a SIM card, but just the tray, but there you go. And you're all set. Thanks for watching.